Today, almost two years have passed since the DHL Flight 7216 skidded off the runway and split in half in Costa Rica. With the investigation into the flight having concluded and all available crash footage put forward, we will now take an in-depth look at exactly what happened. The journey began at 9.34 a.m. local time from Juan Santa Maria International Airport en route to La Aurora Internacional. But mid-flight, over the Costa Rican town of Mala San Carlos, the Boeing 757 alerted the pilots to an emergency due to hydraulic failure. The crew initiated a return to the terminal, maneuvering in a holding pattern to burn fuel. At 10.25 a.m., the plane touched down. However, the aircraft veered off the runway, crashing into a ditch near the airport fire station and splitting apart. The pilot and first officer survived unscathed. In the aftermath, investigators from Costa Rican SeaTac launched an inquiry. They discovered that during the flight, the pilots received two critical indications, low quantity and low pressure in the left hydraulic system occurring sequentially. Despite the crew's adept handling of the situation and the eventual landing of the plane, strong braking on the main landing gear caused the aircraft to veer off course, leading to the crash. Contrary to initial speculation, factors such as pilot fatigue, substance use, or air traffic control errors were ruled out. Instead, the investigation pointed to a hydraulic failure in the left landing gear. This failure stemmed from various cable breaks potentially caused by material delamination, fatigue, or stress-induced cracks and gaps in the cables. The exact cause could not be ascertained. The aircraft was subsequently written off as a result of the crash, making it the 12th hull loss of the Boeing 757. Anyway, that's it for today. If you found the video interesting, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.